Hey crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming and on today's video I'm going to show you some fun ideas how you can totally make over different kinds of containers that you might have in your house from spring, summer to fall. Um, so it's going to be super fun, it's super easy. You're going to, I think, be surprised how easy this is. And um, we're going to be using this stencil, which is back in stock, and it's awesome. Uh, I use this a ton. Here's the evidence of that. This is my brand new one. <laughs> this is my one from the last two years. There is proof positive that I love that stencil. And we're going to be using this one too, which I have proof positive that I love that one as well. So that's what we're going to be doing as you're hopping on. Say hello. Let me know where you're watching from. Feel free to sprinkle all that normal good stuff. Okay, so let's jump right in. What should we do first? Okay, let's do this first. I don't know if you remember, but I feel like I'm tilting. But um, this spring, we stenciled it with white chalk paste and a little floral overall pattern, and it was beautiful. Okay. I just took my little bunch of flowers out of it and put it in the sink with a sponge and I just easily washed off the white chalk paste. It took absolutely no time at all. It looks good as new. And um, I'm gonna show you two different ways to do that and then we're gonna tackle this. This was a project we did last spring this is the Victorian pattern in white chalk paste. I'll show you how we can clean that off and we can totally repurpose it into something beautiful for fall. Okay, so let's, and we're gonna just use a bunch of Dollar Tree flowers and it's gonna be really fun and easy. Okay, so like I said, uh, first thing I did was just cleaned it off and dried it. And then I'm gonna take my well-loved, not very sticky anymore, Autumn Leaves Pattern Stencil, which I'll get links out to you guys um, at the end. So just say link if you want one. Hey everyone, I'm so glad to be with you guys. Uh, anyways, what I'm gonna do with this, if it was new, like if it was this one, then I would fuzz, 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 fuzz it on a t-shirt, um, a pair of jeans, a pair of khakis, uh, this is a fuzzing cloth, also from magnoliadiy.com, I would fuzz it. But this one has been loved and used so much that it's not very sticky anymore, which is just fine, it doesn't hurt it, um, but it does make it that you really don't necessarily need to fuzz your stencils super well. I'm just looking to see, where do I want this to land? Okay. So I'm just going to press it down on my little tin. This is a galvanized tin container. I'll show you that one in just a second. I picked up at my local Goodwill. Okay, so I've got it on there. This one, you can see I paid $4.09, which was kind of a lot, but these are super cute shape. I got it at Goodwill. This is the second design which it's the same stencil that I used for that one, a combination of this almond uh, latte, creamy ivory chalk paste, and then gold, which is called glittering gold to get this look. And it's gonna look great with the flowers. I'm gonna show you. This one, we're gonna be doing an orange and red theme, same design, you'll totally be able to see how you can switch this up. And then we're gonna to put together an arrangement of orange and red flowers. Okay, so um, what I'm gonna to do to get started is I have some orange chalk paste and some red chalk paste. And I'm just gonna use one of my little stirs here to put a blob of it in one of these little trays. It's probably way more than I needed. Um, and then we'll kind of do a little swirly do technique with it. Get that closed. There we go. Um, this is called Orange Tiger, and I have been getting tons of questions from you guys about the pumpkin-colored chalk paste. 
and when will that be coming back? And that should be coming back sometime in the next month or so. Until then, the orange tiger works just fine. So I have two little blobs, and what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna dip my little squeegee into two colors of chalk paste, and then I'm gonna do swirly do all over the place. And we wanna go all the way up to the rim, the edges of this piece. I'll hold it up in just a second to show you. And start at the top. You have a, um, a strategy of how you plan to cover it. That is helpful. Like start either at the bottom or start at the top. And I want this to be a combination of red and orange. So just kind of putting it on here. any of the chalk paste on the lip of this, it's gonna come off. Chalk paste is not permanent. It's easy to wash off, that's why I love it so much. If you wanted to do your piece and have it forever stay the same, then you could give it a coat of clear matte sealer spray and it would be permanent. But I think the beautiful thing about this kind of a project is that you can swap it out from season to season. So I don't want it to be permanent. I want it to be totally changeable. And um, it is when you do it like this and it's easy to get the chalk paste off. So we're getting there. Getting it all over my fingers. So how is everyone doing and what have you been crafting? Um, I, if you're watching this live, I have just returned from a wonderful family trip to England and it really was not possible for me to craft while I was there. So I've missed it and I've missed you guys. Um, and now I'm home and I'm gonna craft, 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 craft. Okay, that's basically what that looks like. I'm just gonna pull it off. And when your stencil is well loved and well used like this, then it's not gonna be super sticky and it will be pretty easy to get it off. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, let me throw this in my little tub of water over here. And get the red and orange chalk paste off my fingers. And then I'll show it to you. Super pretty. It's gonna be really pretty with the, um, with the flowers. I'm gonna show you in just a second. Okay, look how pretty that looks. Isn't that awesome? And it's totally changeable. Okay, so let's let this kind of cool its jets for a few minutes. Let me just show you the two. This is probably the one that would go better in my house because I'm boring and I like all neutral everything. And this is one that is more fall colors, red and orange. They're both lovely. So, let me just set this here for a minute. And I still have chalk paste all over, which I don't want to get it on the next project, so just get that off. And let's go on and do some flowers, and then we'll work on these glass jars that I have. Okay, I have a whole bunch of Dollar Tree faux florals. Um, I bought a bunch uh, earlier this season in this ivory color. And these were so cool. Oh my gosh, I love these. If you can find these faux feathers, they had them in this color. They also had them in this orangey color. Grab them, because these are lovely. 
Um, so some of the florals had little pumpkins and pine cones. Um, some of them had sunflowers. They had some little teeny sunflowers. They had some white leaves. Okay, so I've already made the white one, which I'll show you in just a minute. But let's play with the orange for a minute. All right, and I got just a, a big variety. And the great thing about these Dollar Tree florals is that you can use them over and over and over and over because we're not gluing them into anything, so we can pull them out and reimagine them into something different whenever we want. First thing I'm gonna do is remove the tags. When I want two of the feathers, I'm gonna show you an idea of how you can wrap these also, so that you can swap them from one thing to another, but it's not permanent because it's not glued into anything. And um, when fall is over, you can just throw them in. If you have a tub of faux, faux florals, you can throw them in there and pull them out next year and reimagine them into something else. Most of these flowers are from Dollar Tree. A couple of them came from Hobby Lobby. I can't remember which ones for sure. Uh, anyways, okay, this is bittersweet. And my Dollar Tree store is $1.25 now. Yours probably is too. I think they've almost all switched. Um, let's just get the tags off and we'll move on with the next fun part. which is creating an arrangement. And some of us that's down here low, I can leave, it doesn't matter. Um, so I am not great with doing flowers. My sister is the one who got that crafting gift. She's excellent with it. Um, so if you're good at doing arrangements, then, you know, watch this part of the video and then do it how, how you think would be more appropriate. Um, I'm not gonna use any floral foam. I'm just gonna wrap it with some of the five and a half inch wide burlap ribbon that you can get at Walmart. Okay, so I've got my feathers that I'm gonna do as the back. And then, these are pretty. And then I think I'm gonna do one of these. It's like a red bittersweet. Then I'm gonna do some of these little orange, bittersweet looking ones. Okay, so I'm just layering it. Longer in the back, shorter in the front. And then I'm kind of spreading it out. And then let's do some of these pretty little flowers. And I wanted these to be shorter, so I bent the stem over to make it shorter. I have two of them. Okay, so we'll put those in the very front. And this is essentially what our arrangement's gonna look like. Like I said, if you are good at doing flowers, then do it the way would make the most sense to you. Okay, this is the five and a half inch burlap ribbon. And the reason why I like doing this is because if you're gonna put this in a glass container, then this yucky plastic bottom won't show. And I'm just gonna use some twine. All right. We're gonna start at the bottom. So this is a totally repurposable um, project that you can make it be spring, summer, uh, I'm just twisting this around, spring, summer, winter, fall. And there's the front. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take some of this twine that I have here and I'm gonna tie this together, I'm not gluing it.
And you can do this pretty with a pretty bow on it if you want. This kind of camouflages the ugly stems. Okay, so before I came live in a much more organized, less rushed fashion, I did this one with all my neutral Dollar Tree stuff. Okay, so here's the red and orange, and here's the neutral. And let's grab our little tins, and then we'll move on and we'll do, we'll play with this for a minute, and we'll play with this for a minute. And I'm gonna tell you what I had on it and what I'm gonna do with it. Okay, so here's the neutral little galvanized tin pocket that I made earlier, and I could just plop this right into there. Isn't it pretty? And I used for this the almond latte chalk paste from magnoliadiy.com and a little bit of glittering gold. And I just did kind of the swirly do thing, just like we did with the orange. All right, so that, there's the neutral one. And I don't want to mess this up, but here's our red and orange one. Maybe I need a few more flowers in here. I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't want to fluff it too much because I um, want to make sure I don't mess up the chalk paste before it's dry. Pretty, huh? Okay, so here's these two. Whoops. We just set them right here. And let's move on. I have tons of ideas. Um, these two stencils, this one, the all over, uh, the autumn leaf pattern stencil. And this one I think is called, um, I wanna say, I wanna say it's called Fantasy something, um, but all, all, it's just the leaves. It's the autumn leaves. And they have sort of a Mandela lace design on them. They're really cool. I think these go great together. So, before I came live, I cleaned off. Do you guys remember these little canisters that I put in my kitchen? And I stenciled them earlier, like in spring, with... Um, some white chalk paste and my Victorian pattern stencil. Well, I'm gonna show, and they just sat on my counter just fine. The chalk paste is stable. It doesn't smear or chip off or anything. Let me show you how easy it is to get this off. Oh, this stuff is seriously awesome. It's a little bit easier to do this when you're in the sink with running water, but you're gonna see this is totally possible too. Okay, right now it's a muddy mess. <laughs> Just gonna use some paper towels to wipe this chalk paste off the best I can given that I'm not in the kitchen sink. You could use Windex and a paper towel as well. Okay, so here's our glass container. All right, before I came live, I did one. Um, I did this the totally neutral colors with this all over autumn leaf pattern. Look how pretty it is. And it's not perfect, but it looks fabulous. Okay, so I could put it on my counter like this and do a matching something right here with the lids on them. These 
canisters in case you're wondering. People asked me, last time I showed them, people asked me, where did you get those? They're awesome. Okay, so a long time ago, I was with a wonderful direct selling company called Southern Living at Home, and this was one of the products that we sold, and it's called an Astoria uh, glass container or something like that. Anyway, so I've had these for a million years, for at least 15 years, and they've just kind of been hanging out in the pantry, kind of not doing much. So this spring, I decided to bring them out. So I just cleaned this one off, just like I showed you with this one, and I used that all over pattern stencil. And what I wanna show you with this one is how you can use some of the leaves to do something very pretty. These go great. And I have used these so much. Oh my gosh, they're hardly sticky at all anymore. And they look terrible because they do tend to get a little stained when you use them with ink. And I made a ton of pillows and stuffed um, little stuffies, little bowl fillers and um, banners and garlands. I made a table runner and I used a ton of blue ink. So they do get a little stained, but they still work just fine. So I'm gonna do this one. Um, in this same color here so they can go together and then I'll show you what you could do with it. All right, and I'm just gonna put one on for now, but you could do as many of these leaves as you want or you could repeat and do a whole nother one with this. Okay, so let me get... and a couple of these little stir sticks which are so great and I have another one of my little trays and I'm not going to need very much chalk paste. I'm just going to take the teeniest little scoop like that. Um, it's called almond latte. It's a great color and then a teeny tiny little scoop of this glittering gold And I've got my stencil on the glass. I did not fuzz it because it's not very sticky anymore, but if you were using a brand new one like this, you would want to fuzz, 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 fuzz it because these are super sticky in the beginning. And if, um, if you don't apply a little bit of fiber on the back of it, it'll be really sticky. It'll adhere to your glass like it's never coming off. And if you have to pull too hard, you can stretch your stencil just a little bit. Okay, so I'm grabbing a little bit of these two colors. And I'm just going to do kind of a swirly do. When you combine these two, it ends up looking almost like a pearlized ivory, which I think is beautiful. And it goes with my fall decor, which is all super, super natural. No, I don't have a lot of bright colors happening this year, anyways. Okay, so this is what that looks like. What do you guys think so far? Oh my goodness, and thank you so much to everyone who did stars. Thank you, Juanita, she says, welcome home. I am so glad to be home. Of course, so we've been in, if you're watching this live, we've been in England for eight, nine days at our nephew's wedding, which was amazing. We had so, such a good time with my husband's sister and her family and then the other siblings. But uh, we're home now and the time change is a killer, number one. Then I have a ton of laundry, number two, and then we have no groceries, <laughs> number three. And then I just want to craft. So it's uh, going to be a little bit of a challenge. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Let me throw this in my tub of water until I can get out to the kitchen sink. Look how pretty that is. I'm trying to get it so that we don't have the glare. So I think this could have... 
you know, I could put a candle in it or something like a little tea light in, a, in the kitchen. And next to it, I have the bigger container, which has the all over pattern. And I could do the same thing with this. I could put a big candle in it if I wanted. Don't look at this just yet, because we're gonna talk about it in just a minute. So I could put something like plain, like a bigger battery operated candle in that. But I think what would be pretty, and I'll come back to this in just a second, would be to do an arrangement of faux florals in here. And we're just gonna steal this one out of here because it's all wrapped up and the ugly bottom is covered up and I could just plunk that in there, you know, fiddle around with it a little bit. Um, and do these two right next to each other. So that sort of camouflages all those ugly stems and then I would fluff it out and everything, but that's another option too. And I don't know if you guys have thought about how you can do this swap in, swap out decorating. Um, here's another idea. If you want it and you can find these candles at your local Dollar Tree, you can stencil this glass and do this exact same idea and you could do an arrangement of these. Okay, you can also do the exact same idea with the all over pattern and chalk paste on your basic battery operated candle. This is one I did last spring when I made the other pieces that we've just cleaned off. I used the, this is called, I think this is called Flower Power. It's a beautiful stencil and it's just white chalk paste and I will just be able to wash it right off and then let, dry it off and re-stencil it with whatever I want to dress it up for fall. Do you guys like that idea? I think it's uh, awesome. I love this kind of decorating. So let me set this aside for a minute. And um, let's talk about this. Okay, this is something I had in my kitchen and I had on it, I had, uh, I forget about my thing. They came from Goodwill. I hot glued a little bit of this Dollar Tree twine on it, or rope, I guess is what you call it. And then I had on three different ones with white chalk paste, some of these seashells for summer from this Every Seashell Tells a Story uh, stencil set, but we can do the exact same thing as what I did with the last one. And we could use a fall leaf. Usually I like to kind of lay them a little bit sideways because if you try to do absolutely up straight, you know, upright, straight up and down, then if you're just the teeniest bit off, it could look funny. So we'll do the same thing and I'll just go straight from my little pots. I'll put some different colors on here. These two colors, because this is for my house and I'm boring and I like everything to be super neutral. And I'm just gonna kind of do a little swirly do on this. So any, any, any kind of glass container that you have, you can completely change it out for every season of the year in, I mean, what did that take me about three seconds? And then wash it off, ooh, that's pretty. Wash it off when you're tired of it and then I'll do something for Christmas on it next. And of course, you can do your color scheme. So, for example, if you are doing a navy blue fall decor, which is one of the things I did last year, or if you're doing an orange and red, or teal, 
or uh, purple, you know, or black and white, whatever it is, you can just use a chalk paste in your preferred color, like this is called Magnolia Green, and the same stencils, and you can create something that is completely unique to you. So, what do you guys think? Let's see, was there anything else I wanted to show you here? Oh, there is. A, there are a couple more things I want to show you real quick. Speaking of how awesome the um, stencil is, and if you want a link so you can just go look, just say link or say fall leaves or something like that, and I'll get it for you. This is a book stack that you can get from magnoliadiy.com, and this is fun to swap in and out for the seasons, too. I did this last year. And I just used that same stencil. And for this one, I used a combination of red, orange, green, and yellow chalk paste and did kind of a swirly do. I did some fall words on the side. I think I had brown in here too. Put a little piece of uh, burlap ribbon on there, some strings out of some of the orange pulled string flowers that we made last fall. And look how pretty that is. So I hope I'm giving you tons of ideas of what you can do with these all over pattern stencils for fall. Here's another idea. This is just a Dollar Tree hard covered book and it was white or cream. I used the flower power stencil and gray chalk paste to decorate this book and um, I didn't, I, I may have sprayed it, I can't remember for sure, but you could do this same idea and do the same idea with the swirly do whatever your colors are and come up with some awesome books uh, just to plug in different little spots in your fall decor. Um, at my house, we are empty nesters, boo-hoo. Um, our kids are grown. One is married, one lives out west, and so we don't really do the whole Halloween thing anymore. And in any case, I didn't like things that were scary beforehand, but I mostly for fall, and you know, there's a couple exceptions that I'll tell you about in just a second, but I mostly just do a fall uh, leaves kind of theme for all of my fall decor. And then I carry that into um, Thanksgiving. And I think it's just so versatile. You can pick whatever color you want, but go with something kind of neutral like fall leaves. The only uh, real, I mean, I have some fun new uh, Halloween stencils. Um, and if you want to look at those, just say Halloween and I'll get you a direct link to that. But anyways, um, Magnolia does have some adorable Hocus Pocus stencils. So if you haven't seen those, you should seriously check them out. Um, one of them I used on a pillow for my daughter-in-law because she loves that movie. She grew up just like my kids did, watching that, that movie with the silly um, witches. Uh, Bette Midler was one of them. Um, and the cat. <laughs> Um, anyways, she grew up loving that movie and, and my kids did too. So I made a pillow for her couch and it's three sets of the hair of the Hocus Pocus ladies. Um, and it says, oh look, another glorious morning makes me sick, which is what the character Bette Midler says in the movie. So that's really, I don't tend to do any scary stuff. I prefer to do stuff like this. Uh, but that's just me. Um, so I wanted to share this idea with you. Also this idea of creating these little, I don't know what you call this, these little things with Dollar Tree flowers. I probably have about five, six dollars worth of flowers in here that can totally be repurposed next fall into absolutely whatever I want. And I'm just creating a little posy by wrapping some of this five and a half inch wide burlap around the bottom. And then I can plunk it into absolutely whatever I want and repurpose it, put it in something different. 
Um, so I hope you like these ideas. Oh my goodness. Thank you guys so much for all those stars. I really, really appreciate that. I am so glad to be back home and crafting with you guys. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. If you have questions or you want links, you want to look at this or any of the chalk paste in whatever color, they have a ton of different ones. Just let me know and I'll grab those direct links for you right now so you don't have to go hunt those items down. You can take a look at what's available, you can look at what the prices are, all that kind of good stuff. It'll just make it super convenient for you. Anyways, be watching tomorrow for Christ and Crafting. I have some ideas. I'm not 100% certain what the project's going to be, but I do have some ideas, so I would love to have you join me on my favorite day of the week of crafting, which is Sundays with Christ and Crafting. It'll be sometime between 12 and 4 p.m., and then we're going to do some more crafts involving these at the start of the week. So I hope you'll come back to DIY Dreaming. Take two seconds to like and follow this page if you haven't already. Oh, Sharon says take a nap if you haven't already today. Yeah, I definitely will. Then I have to go grocery shopping and do laundry and put my suitcases away and I have a million things to do. Anyways, I see lots of you guys saying, welcome back, that you missed me, I missed you too. Um, it'll be a good week of crafting and I'd love to have you come back. Alrighty, have a blessed rest of your day. Looking, Be looking for photos of close-ups of everything here in the comments as well as just on DIY Dreaming. And let me know if you want to look at anything online. All right. Bye, everyone.